Boom. All right. Ready to get this on the show? Yes. Okay. <sighs> I had to take a deep breath because we've been doing a lot of, um, 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 well, actually, we've been taking in a lot of information. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, essentially, this is just a continuation of um, maybe our last conversation that we had, which sparked off of the Orlando shootings. Yes. Right, the Orlando shootings. And then, um, I guess we both went down the rabbit hole mm-hmm. on um, um, different things. Different things meaning um, Islamism. Okay. Islamism. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The p- political philosophy or ideology of wanting the whole world to be run or controlled or directed off of this specific belief system, right? This is what Islamism is, right? And I think it's, um, I think this is our generation's Nazi. These are our Nazis. It could be. Yeah. (laughs) So to put some context, so this is a few days or what was this, uh, two days after Brexit? Mm. No, not even that. One day, right? One day. No, is it two? It's two days now. Ah, fucking Brits. Um, so that's pertinent because the Brexit's major impetus was immigration. So, a lot of the mantras were take control, take our country back, blah blah blah. Like certain groups of people have had quote unquote had enough, and so we watched a documentary today about uh, Islamism, extremism, extreme Islamism in the UK and then another documentary of one in the US Um, there's there's some differences but a lot of similarities Um, but I left watching both of those feeling a little little uneasy a little scared and needing a lot of answers meaning I need to do my homework I need to understand what the fuck we're dealing with here because this is a big deal and it's getting it's only going to get bigger. When you have an ideology that wants to quote unquote take over the world with their ideas um, and and most of us don't even understand what those ideas are, that's a scary situation. And I think we can't keep our head in the sand much longer (laughs) because shit keeps happening. (laughs) And we can hide behind, oh, well, what what are they upset about? Or um, what are their, what are their, uh, how can we right their wrong, the wrongs that have been done or X, Y, and Z, but, but I, I, I think, I think it also comes down to this, what we keep saying, um, not in our house. This is our house. Yeah, not in my house. Not in our house. Fuck that. And not I don't think house. that's racist. I want to protect me and mine and my ideas and my freedoms. And if that call, if, if I'm called a racist because of protecting my own freedom, fuck it. I'll mm. own that shit any day of the week. Mm. Yeah, so, <sighs> yeah, anger, frustration, excitement, though. Yes. Right, yeah, it, it is excitement because I, I, I don't think, I am not aware of a time in my existence where there was a focused enemy to engage with right right? and i'm going to call it an enemy because they do not like the way we live i mean the closest thing we had in our in our childhood would maybe be the cold war where we talked about the russians and we were scared of the russians but there wasn't this was completely different kind of enemy this was not Mm. like growing up in uh nazi germany or in world war ii living in europe um this is our soil in america and we've never dealt with this before Mm. Yeah, yeah, but the there there's so many there. Yeah, yeah, it's just so frustrating just thinking about it because, like how you were talking about, I'm I'm gonna you know piggyback on Gad Sad's little thing how he calls them the ostrich brigade, sure, right? Sure. The ostrich brigade. But but um, there's something that we sort of kind of remixed the other day that it it's basically gonna be the vision. You know, I think we need to create some either vision or mission or, or, or there needs to be something that we can sort of kind of build on, right? And, and it's a remix of a quote <laughs> that um, Neville Chamberlain wrote, right? You know, Neville Chamberlain wrote this, this is, quote. This is, this is it right yeah. here. Yeah, this yeah, is it right here. yeah, yeah, this is it. So, so here, here it goes. Here's the remix of the quote, right? This remix of the quote 
is going to be the the foundation of mm, probably um, what I would like to think of as a decentralized <laughs> <laughs> intelligence agency, right? Fucking DIA, fuck CIA. Mm-hmm. Hate to say fuck CIA because it's centralized, right? But we need to create it's a different a, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, again, talking about intelligence. Intelligence to protect individual freedoms Mm -hmm. versus intelligent to protect the country. Exactly, right? You know, so personal liberty is the main focus of this specific type of, um, um, dare I say, decentralized organization, right? We have all these other decentralized peer-to-peer organizations that do all sorts of wonderful things in the world, Mm -hmm. right? But I don't think we have one for the most part for security or for intelligence. But the purpose of this is, and here goes the quote, Remix, remix time, right? So, check this out. <laughs> when. Laren lies the excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. So, when you are fighting for your life against a ruthless opponent, right, you cannot be governed by political correctness. Social justice warriors would rather lose the war under political correctness than do anything offensive to socially progressive views. Not in my fucking house. Not in my house. Yeah, it closes out like that. So there's some heavy, heavy lines in there that I think that are super important. But this is something that um, uh, people from the West, people who enjoy freedom of speech, people who enjoy freedom of thought, people who enjoy the the cultural values, the cultural values of um, independence, equality, informality. In directness, right? These these are these are the things that that we tend to nurture in the West, right? These are the tens or the tens. These are the things that you know we would like. I say we because there's some collective because I think we're part of this big massive human global brain, you know, that I think everybody probably would appreciate and and respect. And there are groups of people out there that don't respect don't appreciate right they don't even want to adhere to it and this is our enemy now they want to bring us back to the dark ages yeah 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 yeah. they want to bring us back to the dark ages i like that yeah that quote so should should mention just to clarify that was our kind of rehash of neville what's his name neville chamberlain yeah uh the way he was talking about uh that um The way I envisioned it was a a soldier fighting by the queen's rules to be a gentleman while there's guerrilla warfare, and they would rather follow the the rules and and almost like the pomp and circumstance of of fighting like a a quote-unquote gentleman than to actually meet the enemy Mm. uh, on the enemy's level. And then we talked a little bit today about like learning how to fight like the enemy, but it's a little different because the aims are different as well. Yeah. Yeah, because now we're in a war. The war that we're in is a war of ideas. Ideas. Yeah, right. these are ideas. These are concepts, right? right? These are beliefs. You know, these are values that you know groups of people, if you want to call them civilizations, fucking love, right? right. You, you know, it, I love to alter my mental state, right? I love to alter my mental state, right? I love to Which drink. Which can come in a lot of forms. Yeah, 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 it can, right? But I love to have that choice. I do not want to be um, um, relegated to somebody else's definition of how I should be altering my mental state. Even though we sort of kind of have that now because you can't do certain drugs here in All America. Right, but but so we're talking I, about liberties here. We're talking about freedoms. Yeah, no, but like, the way that your mental state is is the way that you think. You're talking about the way that you want to be able to think and feel. Sure. Right, that's altering your mental state. Sure. I love doing that. There's a group of people out there that hate that shit, and they are called Islamism, right? People that subscribe to Islamic fundamentalist doctrine do not like if people can think freely. There is a group of people out there that, Mm -hmm. as a woman, hate the fact that I don't have to ask a man for permission to do anything, and not only that, that I make my own choices, that I enjoy being a woman, I enjoy sex, I enjoy being free, so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they hate hate that they hate mm-hmm. that so much yeah. and to me that alone is worth fighting for yeah yeah like you have on a dress that's showing your body right now right they don't want that 
They want you to walk around in a sack. Mm -hmm. They want you to walk around in a fucking sack, and that's not cool. That's mm -hmm. not cool to me, and I know it's not cool to you, mm -hmm. because that means that you're not in control of your body. You're mm -hmm. not in control of how you want to express yourself. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, there's there's all sorts of things, but um, it. I guess this is frustration because I'm rolling my eyes. There's, there's a yeah. lot of frustration. Yeah, I'm rolling my eyes because because I'm at I, I'm at complete conflict right now. I am at conflict with my own personal core beliefs because I am an anarchist, right? I am at conflict. <laughs> yeah, I I am at conflict with my core beliefs yeah. because I am a proper libertarian. The devil right? you know versus the devil you don't know right now yeah. is what you have an issue with. <laughs> right? right? You know, so so it's like, mm -hmm. what the fuck, right? You know, it's like, no, you know, because I like to be able to um, um, voluntarily deal with other people. I would, that's my ultimate gain and my ultimate, my ultimate goal. Yeah, and how, a how playing like, field. Yeah, yeah, this, but. This is not a level playing No, so, so now, I guess it's, um, it, it's, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's like the work in progress of everything that we were talking about, mm -hmm. and it could sound like there's a lot of ramble right here, but there's really not that much, because, um, uh, we're talking about sort of kind of, uh, um, creating or codifying an actual group, yeah, I right? mean, there's a, a social network, yes, a social network, a group, um, of like-minded individuals whose main focus is in protecting their own personal liberties, right? And the only way that you can protect your own personal liberties right now in this world that we live in is by understanding and analyzing um, information. Information right? is our greatest weapon. Yeah, and we have to share this Communication information. Communication and information yep. is our greatest weapon. And yep. this is what's going to help us. Um, and if we don't do it, it's what's going to be the reason why we don't. Yeah, Succeed. yeah, yeah. I think we will. Yeah, well, hopefully. It's going to be... I oh. think people are getting fed up. I think things... Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it, case in point, all the emotions today of, like, frustration and anger and fear and, and you know, you get mad and, and, and then you, you try to be empathetic and all in all it starts creating a pathway of synthesis into um, what's the next step? How do, how do we... How do we uh, address this? I guess. Are you talking about the election season right now in oh, America? Everything. Yeah, everything. I mean, it's it's kind of ironic how all this is kind of happening at the same time. Which I don't know if you're a conspiracy theorist, maybe it's not ironic. But what conspire? It just means people thinking together, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm talking about like the elections and Brexit and. Nah. You know, there's a shooting the day of Brexit in Germany and yeah. you know, you, you, you know, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, those are elements. Those are all elements of the things that are happening in the world right now. Right, and it's it's crazy. And uh, <laughs> these are my sighs. <sighs> you know, yeah, of, sure yeah, of frustration because you know you hop online and you just search and you know the things that hop up are um, the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, the black, I, this is what I was just reading an article about this right here. The Black Lives um, Movement is pulling out of uh, the Gay Pride Parade in San Francisco. Oh, really? Yeah, due to um, police security concerns mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But that's our problem, right? We've become so domesticated, right? We are so domesticated. And I'm not going to say that their issues are not trivial, mm -hmm. right? They're not trivial issues because you feel something you know there's something viscerally wrong with mm -hmm. with the way that a lot of uh black people feel that they're being treated in their communities and things like that but then um i'm talking about something that's meta right i'm talking about a container that allows us to even have groups like that exist <laughs> right that <laughs> that's that, what i'm that's talking part about part of like what we're seeing today in this documentary is too you have these people that are sitting outside of a park protesting and talking about taking over western ideas and taking over the country and they have the fucking right to do so because they're in a country that yeah. allows this free thinking yeah yeah this this what was what was the name of it um the third the third so the two. third jihad yeah we watched uh the jihadist next door yes and then we watched the, the third uh, jihad um 
something about uh, no. how it pertains to America. Yeah, yeah. Was it the so third? One, the so third jihad. The yeah. third jihad was how it would pertains to America. One was based in uh, uh, England, in the UK, and the other one was an American-based uh, documentary. Yeah, yeah. So both of them, and this is also the power of media because I'm watching this. <laughs> I'm watching it and I'm seeing it and you can look at the film editing and you're just like, oh yeah, you know, this is pretty cool. But then you hear the music in the background and once again, it sounds super dark and ominous at times or light and fluffy, right? Which is fucking with, you know, the way that you're observing it and you're viewing it. Yeah. But um, the words are what bother me. The words that people are using are what bother me, right? When I hear somebody say that... Um, the White House will have the Islamic State flag over it, and it will be turned into a mosque. That bothers me. Right? It, it bothers me. It's, it's cool. They're called extremists for a reason. Yeah, yeah. It's cool that they can do that. They can say that. They have that ability to say that in this place. But what bothers me is that um, is that we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it in the proper context. Right? We we don't say, well, what exactly is this? Islamic fundamentalism, Islamism, right? You know, what is it, right? You People know. are starting to talk. Yeah. That's why we saw this documentary today. Yeah, yeah. So now it's time for That's everybody to share, right, right? Yeah, I mean, but you can go down and you see, like, it, I do this at times because it's just fun. It's fucking fun, right? Because when you're when you're checking out YouTube videos on some talks like this, mm -hmm. and um, and then you scroll down into the into the comment section, sure. and you see you see a lot of you see a lot of hate, right? You know, you see a lot of um, uh, comments that are some of them are fucking racist, right? Um, super bigoted. Uh, some of them are really smart, right? But then you see this whole you know, this whole mix of all sorts of comments. I mean, this is like the public speaking about a concept or a topic at one time based off of um, something that they're watching in, in a video, mm -hmm. right? You know, this is public discourse happening in real time. And, and I think it's time to level up and zone in on that, that, that intelligence because I want to be able to read those dumb fucking comments Right. I want to be able to see people say that, oh, man, you're you know, you're just some such and such and such and such. You don't even belong in this place. Right. I want to be able to 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 appreciate and know that I live in a place that I live in a world that people can say stupid shit like course, that and not have to worry about getting their fucking heads chopped off or or no i said their heads getting you know getting murdered right getting their hands chopped off um being sentenced in, into some type of uh prison um having to be lashed or anything like that just because of the way that it is that they want to think and express themselves right yeah there's gonna be a lot of dumb motherfuckers out there i i i've just come to the conclusion that's the world that we live in that there is going to be an x amount of dumb fuckers out there that yeah, are just going to exist. That, what was it? Was it Thomas Paine that said it? That said, I may not agree with what you say, but I'll defend to the death your right to say it. You gotta it come closer, because right now I'm not recording with a microphone. I'm recording with this okay. phone. So, yeah. So, finish saying. What were you saying oh, about it's Thomas just, Paine? It's, the, it's the, the quote, I may not agree with what you have to say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. And that's one of our like fundamental rights we always talk about what are some of the western fundamental rights it's freedom of speech yeah that's something that that i think a lot of us will not budge on and we shouldn't but some people do we're starting to we're yeah. giving up some of these rights yeah. for our price for protection yeah that's and why in here state. yeah social justice warriors <laughs> social justice warriors and political correctness they they have to be the most diabolical Trojan horse that I've ever witnessed in my us. life, right? Yeah, you know, because people cannot say shit. People cannot express themselves in, in a specific way because you might fucking offend somebody, right? That's bullshit. That is bullshit because you need to be able to discuss ideas, right? Right. You need, you, you have to because that's the only way that you're going to make ideas better is that you, ex you discuss them. Mm -hmm. You know, you say, yeah, that's kind of shitty. You know, that's kind of shitty logic and what it is that you you know how you're thinking right now but you ever think about it like this in this specific way mm -hmm. right and somebody can say oh you know what 
I've never really thought about it like that. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, maybe what if I do try thinking like that? Would my life be better? You right. know, yeah, that's, that's conversation. That's talking, right? That's what happens when you're a higher level primate like us. Right. You should be able to talk. Ah, you should man. be able to discuss. You mm-hmm. should be able to hear, okay, this is your point of view. This is my point of view. Hey, yours is a little different. Let's. Why is it different? Mm-hmm. Instead of these these ideolo- ideologies that, that are almost built in to be impervious to any kind of criticism or any kind of discourse, it's built into the logic of these, uh, like I'll say it, religion. Mm-hmm. You can't argue. And if you can't argue, you can't have an exchange. You can't have a compromise. You can't have a meeting of the minds. Mm-hmm. If you can't do that, then how do you coexist? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we've done it for a while. It's here. not working. Well, it's not working now. It, it has worked. It has. Yeah, yes. because that's one of the other fundamentals of Western civilization is um, freedom of religion. Yeah, live and let live. Hey, you believe this. I mm-hmm. believe this. I, I defend your right to believe what you want to believe mm-hmm. as long as we can come together at the marketplace or the schools or the office and be civil to each other and be part of a greater community. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I respect our differences because we come together for a commonality of, of, of uh, a greater, you know, the country or the community. A, a mm-hmm. community. Mm-hmm. Why, why is that so hard? <laughs> that's, what we, that's what needs to happen. That's what's breaking down. The community is breaking down? Yes. Yeah. It is. It is because I think that we lost. And when I say we, mm-hmm. meaning the West. It's so fragmented right now it's like what they said it's not about you must assimilate it's you must integrate yeah right you don't have to be you know if you're if you come from another country another culture you don't have to abandon that when you come here we love it Mm -hmm. i love that you eat a food that's different and we get to like learn about each other but you also have to be part of the community right right we're all here we don't get to act like you don't exist. Like I live in this apartment building, and if someone talks to me in the elevator, it's a good day because I'm like, oh, they're actually gonna like acknowledge my existence. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's sick, and I think it should. I think what's normal is for you to be like, hey neighbor, how you doing? Can I help? <laughs> hey you? neighbor, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I get that too. It's like fifty fifty. Depends on who you talk to. Yeah. Um. But that that should just be ingrained. That's how we should should be. But it's not. It's not. And yeah, I think that's where we not. break down. Yeah. And then we start having misunderstandings because we don't understand where that's coming from. We don't understand our neighbors. We don't understand uh, other people. Um, yeah. 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 I, it's. You say you don't know, but I know. No, I don't know. I know one thing. I'm fucking frustrated. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm frustrated and I'm frustrated at the lack of um, focus. Right. I'm frustrated at the lack of focus. I'm frustrated at the lack of understanding of what it means to be a Westerner. Right. When you say focus, what do you mean? Meaning that people don't understand when they're not focused on what exactly it is that they are existing, how they are existing, this container Mm -hmm. that we call Western civilization. Mm -hmm. People have no focus on what it is because they're, they're all swimming. They're swimming in the ocean. They're swimming in the water and they don't understand that they're just a little fucking guppy, you know, that's hanging out in this big ocean. Right. And there's another there's another fish out there that is going to eat the fuck out of you. That's what I was going to say. Do people even understand there's a threat to their Uh, way of life? No, 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 they don't, right? That's dangerous. Yeah, it is, but then it's because there's a lack of focus, right? You know, like, I hate to say it, but it's not. No, I don't fucking hate to say it. (laughs) Human condition, the, the, the base of human condition, especially the Western human condition, has always been war, right? We have always been at some form of conflict, Right. We seem to be. Yeah. No, it, like, we exist in nature. Right? This is where it gets really weird. Nature wants to kill us because there are things out there that want to destroy us. The universe us. is not friendly. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. But then we talk about it. We're you know. Einstein. Yeah. 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 Because there's, there's people out there that think that this place, this blue planet that we live on, was specifically in specially designed for us to live and exist in 
right? Cause, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Well, when you're yeah. taught that the world was created for you in seven days, like, people yeah. tend to be a little more... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I mean, that, that's, <laughs> that's a great story. You know, that's it is a great, great story. story. But it sets you up for a little disappointment when you realize it's no, not the way No, if you believe that works. that's reality. Okay. Right. If you believe that that is reality, then yeah, it sort of kind of sets you up. But if you use that, if you use that that story and that tale mm-hmm. as a unifying um, um, platform to say that yeah, you know what, um, we're people, we're humans, and you know, this world was sort of kind of created for us, but we're supposed to be the stewards of this planet, right? We're supposed to be able to take care of it. And, you know, if we take care of it and we have this really badass relationship with it, it's going to take care of us, too. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's re- reciprocity, right? It's not about, you know, you being part of the dominant, you know, well, I guess we are part of a dominator society or a dominator culture. Oh, it's evolved that way. Uh, yeah. Oh, you mean culture? Or, yeah, no, or no, no, no. Okay, then. No, no, the culture. Like, I'm thinking about, like, now I'm, I'm paraphrasing some Terrence McKenna right now where, um, that's one of the things that he talks about is that, well, well, we happen to live in a dominator society <laughs> in a dominator culture, right? <laughs> Love his fucking rants. But, right. but he talks about that's where we are right now. Like mm-hmm. we are in a dominator society or a dominator culture because you have things that dominate over you. You dominate over other things, other beings, instead of actually having um, some type of Star Trek type of relationship with things where it's like, hey, man, everything's peace. Right, you know, I'm gonna let you live. You know, just don't eat me. I might eat you later. Right, uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna make sure that you have a nice little, cool, peaceful life. You know, you know. Oh, there's some veg over there, and I'm gonna eat that too. But it, it's a, a different type. Of, it's a different type of a caring place, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas now it's just like we run roughshod over shit, right? It's like you know what? That's my oil, bitch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those are my trees. So you're dominating people. You're dominating environments. That's not really healthy because then something evolves also from that. Yeah. You know, greed. Greed. Um, another entity, another it, being. Yeah. Yeah. There's all sorts of things that you can call it, but I mean, it's and now I'm thinking about dominator societies and dominator cultures, and now we have two cultures, right? Two civilizations, two groups of people. Um, one of them has 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 been more beneficial for the overall good of man right for the ultimate overall good of man because they focus on the freedom of speech and the freedom of thought right freedom and liberties of overall man Mm -hmm. overall for men yeah yeah but collectively you can say that this one has been the best one that we have right now right and yeah i feel like i'm repeating myself again because i think i talked about this last time Maybe. Yeah, I don't know, but this is. It's a theme that resonates. Come yeah, on. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we only have one, one that we can say, you know, that is doing that, and it is the West, mm-hmm. right? You mm-hmm. know, and the West is also the only one that allows and it integrates, it integrates other cultures. It's almost like the Borg, the Star Trek Borg, right? I mean, you can come in, right, and you know that this is the generic platform that we have, right? If you come here, right, or if you go anywhere where there's Western ideals, right. Um, you can get down there and you can get down, right? You can get down and you can make something of yourself and you can build up right. and you can do all sorts of things and you can still keep your cultural identity as long as you don't impose on other people's ideas or way of living, right? right? That's the beauty of the West and that's why it's the only one that I feel and that's because I'm in this water. Well, I can't imagine as a woman living anywhere but the West. Yeah, yeah. I would No, just I'd imagine. I'd die. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like, I would rather die. I would. Yeah, I would too. If I was, a, I mean, shit, what if I was a, a hey boy, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey boy, translation, what I was a gay boy, mm-hmm. right? And I was a gay boy in another culture, right? In that culture. Yeah, you know, in the Islamic culture, in a place like Iran, right? In a place like Saudi Arabia. It's another documentary you have to watch. Yeah, yeah, in a place like Syria, and my way of living would be looked down upon. You know, they would be like... looked down upon. you probably get yourself yeah. eaten or killed. No, they say throw me off a cliff. Throw you off a cliff. Yeah, right, that's, right, that's right, what right, they say. Right, right, yeah, right, you know, right. homosexuals must be thrown off a cliff. That's my little fake Arabic accent. Yes. Um, <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I'm trying to get better with it. But, <laughs> but yeah, but that's... um. 
something I guess needs to be discussed now, right? Is that we are at a war, or we are in war, right? Mm -hmm. We are in war, and this war is based off of ideas, mm -hmm. right? And you just look at it everywhere, right? Anytime you see that you cannot draw a character without offending people, or if you do offend these people and they make such an uproar and such a backlash that you sort of kind of like fall back and, and you know, you say, hey, well, you know what, maybe we shouldn't do that. Or if you're a news channel and you're supposed to news, you're a news channel and you're supposed to be spreading and disseminating information to other people and you have to blur out, <laughs> you have to blur out images of um, certain um, um, religious uh, characters. That's a problem. Right. That's a problem that I don't like and I disagree with because of my anarchist philosophy. Right. But right. the only reason why I can have this anarchist philosophy That's is because you live. Mm -hmm, <laughs> I am from the Western culture. Mm -hmm. I would never be able to have this anywhere else. So it comes down to it's a call to arms to people. Like, do you like your liberty? Because that's what's getting infringed upon. There are people out there that are not only want to take it away from you, they are planning on taking it away from you. Yeah. There's manifestos. There's training camps. There are people that are right now plotting to take your liberties away from you. Mm -hmm. And we either don't know about it or we don't... Uh, we'd, ra we'd rather think about something else or... We're too scared to do anything because we might be considered racist or, or um, uh, un unsympathizing with yeah. other cultures. We'd rather we'd rather watch fucking Bruce we'd Jenner or Caitlyn Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, I said yeah. Bruce. We'd rather Whatever. watch Caitlyn Jenner transition into you know the 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 butterfly that she is going to become. Right. Mm -hmm. That is much more important for people to talk about instead of somebody or somebody talking about. The groups of people. We live in a country where that can happen. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know it, it can happen, right? But then that is the 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 exciting conversation that everybody wants to talk about, right? But like when we started off saying, not in my house, not right? My house. And yeah, I don't really care if if three people listen to this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care how many people listen to this as long as if you are listening to 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 this conversation this topic and and if it resonates with you um you need to wake up yeah right you you need to wake up and we need to get our shit together right because we've become too domesticated as a group of people right we are no longer physically fit Right. We're no yeah. longer warriors. Yeah. yeah, we we used to once be warriors, right? <laughs> you look at the people from the World War Two and the World War One era, and then you look at you look at what it was that they were actually fighting for. They were fighting for their way of life, right? They were fighting against fascism, right? They were fighting against Nazism, right? Um, they were saying the exact same thing. Not my house, right? And they put out they put out so much information. Right. That's all they did. They just continuously put out information. The government, the government had a propaganda machine that will put out information and it will let you know exactly who the enemy was. Right. And how you need to deal with it. That's what's going to happen now. Right. At least in this house, at least on this watch, <laughs> on this watch right now, because um, we're going to have a decentralized intelligence agency because it's no longer about protecting the country it's about protecting individual liberty and so it's the individuals that decentralized have to come together and figure shit out yeah yeah yep. come up with a plan come up with strategies come up with supporting each other through information and communication yeah you got to gather it gather the information right because the alternative i don't, I don't want to be around for that nope nope because i want my alcohol <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want my fucking alcohol. I want to be able to drink, right? I want to be able to drink Monday through Monday, right? <laughs> I don't care. Liberty. Yeah, that's what I want. Whatever, per whatever anyone's version yeah. of that is, we yeah. want to protect it. Yeah, I want to be able to walk around 
in whatever type of outfit that I feel <laughs> is necessary. If I want to dress up like a, a, a chick one day just because I think it's fun, yeah. right? And I'm saying, hey, you know what? I'm going drag, right? I'm going drag and I'm going to do that. I want to be able to have the, the freedom to be able to do that. And I know that under other groups, there's a group of people out there that do not Islamism. Islamism does not want us to be able to have these freedoms, right? right? No, yeah. they don't. They, they are killing people because of this, right? They are fighting. And people here in the... Viciously yeah, people. Yeah, people What's here... What's the word in the... Um, the, the, the quote that we, we remixed? Is that one adjective? The enemy is... Which one? Read it. The first sentence. The ruthless opponent? Ruthless. Oh, yes. Ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the enemy. They're ruthless. Yeah. We just watched it. I, well, I cried today and I saw they were training little kids how to behead a real person. Like the, a child beheaded a person. Yeah. That wasn't a, that wasn't like a training. They actually, that actually happened. And I, I couldn't not cry. That's to me, that's just, yeah, that's the world that's happening. This is, these are the group of people. That, not um, cool. I have no words for that. I know the words that you should have <laughs> is that uh, you're fucking pissed. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, yeah. you, you've, you've just taken the most precious thing from a human being, a child. You've, you've, you've taken them and you've formed them into a fucking weapon, right? You've formed them into a weapon of hate, yes. right? And what's so fucked up about it is they don't even know that they're hating, no. right? They don't know because this is, they're like, hey, you know, this is how it's supposed to be, right? Uh, did I do a good job? Yeah. I did what you, you told know, me to. Oh, you know, and then when you and then when you and then when you close it out by saying, Allah Akbar, mm -hmm. right? God is great, right? You remove somebody's head and then you say God is great. What the fuck kind of creature are you? Right. 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 Yeah. Right. I, I'm gonna. You're not human, right? That there is no. Well, I can't say there's no human that would do that because I'm looking on 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 the internet and I can see humans, people that resemble humans that are actually doing this. This is the psyche. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Thank it, God it, I wasn't born in that. Yeah. And it, then the problem is, we'll piggyback on this one, mm -hmm. it's because people obey authority. Right? Oh, shit. We're going to bring it all back. Yeah, yeah. It, you, 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 when people obey authority, when they're obedient to authority, right, and then they say that, well, yeah, I, mean, I have to do it. I mean, we do it all the time. Right. When somebody when somebody does something and they do something from the most trivial things to say, well, that, that's not my job or I'm just doing my job. Just following yeah, orders. Just following orders. Right. You know, thank God. Right. Thank God that people took the initiative to study this type of mind. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, thank God that now we can have we we can, but we do have tools to be able to analyze why people are this obedient when it comes to an authority figure, right? And the that human nature, the human psyche, mm -hmm. and it's like uh, you may not like what you see, you yeah. may not like what what you might do. Yeah. Everyone wants to think, oh, I would be, um, I would act decent, I would act like a decent human being. But I mean, this is all stemming from the movie that we watched. What's it called? The uh, Experimenter. Yeah, yeah, the Experimenter. About. Yeah. Uh, Milgram. Stanley Milgram. Yeah. And the uh, the authority experiments. No, the obedience. Obedience. Yeah, the obedience experiments. Okay. Right. Shook the world up. Shook it up. Shook it's it up. Still controversial. Yeah, because what it, it shows that there is a fundamental base nature within the human mind. Is that regardless of how bad it is if somebody from an authoritative position tells us to do something we will do it and we will rationalize mm -hmm. and we will justify it in our heads right and we will say we will defer and deflect and say no nah, that person nah, just following orders that's what you said right right just right. following orders right so this is born out of nazi germany we're at the criminal war, war criminals eichmann in particular where when asked why he committed all these atrocities to send uh, thousands of Jewish people to their deaths. So Millions! Was, well, he personally. Oh, he was right? only thousands? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, why'd you do it? It was just following orders. So, that was someone who probably went to work every day, came home to his wife and kids, 
you know, did the, did the normal thing, but, oh, at work I'm murdering people because mm-hmm. those are my orders. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so Crazy that's, shit. that's what kind of sparked the, uh, the need to want to study this human behavior. What would make someone do those kind of things? Um, and what they found was not what they expected. And it's not what we would like. We would think human, uh, the human spirit, uh, to be capable of, but most people will follow orders even to a fault when they know that, even if they suspect it's wrong. Yeah, to suspect. I mean, it's just dark, Mm -hmm. right? You're electrocuting someone. Mm -hmm. You know that you're electrocuting someone. You can hear them, you know, immediately say, ow, shit, that hurts, (laughs) right? And then you follow these orders, right? That's no different from you blowing yourself up because you are going to go to a place so great and so wonderful and so awesome, Mm -hmm. right? Because you were given orders to do that because this is what was written in the book, right? right. It, it is the same exact thing, which it, <laughs> you were saying earlier, it's scary. It's scary because at least, depending on where you're from, over 60% of all test subjects, right? Over 60% of all test subjects shocked these people because they just to the ul- follow to the to mm-hmm. the point where mm-hmm. it was the highest level on the machine yeah where it said danger yeah on it there was even a, a yeah. qualifier on the machine saying don't go past this point and people yeah. still did it because they had quote unquote had no choice it was part of the experiment they had to yeah. do it because they were told to yeah so then this it all boils down to authority figures right is it um this is maybe our base nature Right. And it's something that we need to come to terms with is that is that we listen to people who are in positions of authority. Yes. Right. We cannot it's human help nature. It. Yeah, it's no. how we lived in culture. It's how we survived as cavemen. We had to have a group of people. We had to have a leader. We had to, you know, then we turn into villages and we turn into kingdoms and we turn into civilizations. Um, it's always been that way. Uh, That's how we've always structured ourselves. Yeah, but the thing, the difference now is you have, you need to be aware of that shit. Shit, yeah. Yeah, most people are not aware of it. I mean, like, you say, yeah, it's human nature, it's our base nature, yes, we know this, because, you know, the first thing that we're popped into is, you know, you have some sort of power dynamic with your, your parental unit Mm -hmm. in the child, right? right? Right. That parental unit tells you things, and then you just keep going on from there, and then it extends all the way out, but the thing is, is that when you hit a certain age or if you know that something is fundamentally wrong and you are causing harm to another living being right Mm -hmm. meaning another living human Mm -hmm. and you 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 are taking away their freedoms right you are taking their their right to speak right their right to live their right to practice whatever it is that they want to practice as long as they mutated version uh, yeah yeah you know but there were those people that just they're just like "Uh -uh, uh uh-uh uh-uh i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna shock those people I, this is this is wrong, and I won't do it. Oh, you must do it. It's part of the study. You have no choice. No, no, I have a choice, and I choose not to do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the minority, but that is those are the people that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Those may be the saviors of our of our humanity. If if the shit goes down. No. We learn from that, and now we can save each other. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So now we save each other because now we must talk about who is the enemy at the gate, right? Because we do have an enemy at the gate, mm-hmm. right? Uh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it sucks a lot because, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, because the, <laughs> yeah, because when 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 you just go and you read, um, you know, the 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 stats about how much safer the world is becoming. Right, and then you can just see that you see the world is becoming actually safer. Right, we are becoming a safer civilization, but right now we are at a, we are at the position where there is there is a group, there's a massive group of people out there mm-hmm. that want to just turn that shit upside down. Mm-hmm. Right, they want to turn it upside down, and all progress, everything that it was that we've done to get this far mm-hmm. to make the world as safe it is as it is even though people do not believe that it's safe because they just see what's on the news or anything like that but the studies the stats you know all data is mm-hmm. showing that the world is collectively getting safer right okay. i want to continue on with that projection yeah. right and the only way that i think that we can continue on with that projection is if we have a decentralized 
intelligence agency that also has intelligence warriors in it. Yeah. Right? That's that's just my 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 opinion, my belief. I know it's yours too because we talked about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we talked about it and um and that's probably going to be what a lot of talks are going to be about. Yeah. Right? Is how you level up um because you're going to have to get better. We're all going to have to get better. Yeah. We're going to have to become stronger. Um Yep, there goes the police. Is that the police or an ambulance? I don't know. It's Whatever. Real. Yeah. But um, we're going to have to become better than what we were or what we have been, right? We have to be. Yeah. yeah which means we're going back to roots. We're try- we, we don't feel it's good enough to just sit around and, and kind of complain and, and worry about it now. We have to start taking action. Yeah. It's called being personally responsible. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And I know that this won't resonate with a lot of people, right? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, but <laughs> it'll resonate with a few, right? And in the few that it does resonate with, I mean, you you just have to sort of kind of think about, yeah, you're creating you're creating the next Spartan class, right? Because now we got to go <laughs> back. Yeah, you got to yes. go back to the roots, right? Yes. You have to go back to the roots and saying, well, no, they're hey, they're three hundred held off. Yeah, Persia. Persia. So yeah, yeah, maybe Persia. It just takes three hundred of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, That's three damn fine abs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, three hundred of us. But then we have we have things, we have tools, right? We have the internet. Strategy. Involved. Yeah, yeah, we have the internet, right? We have the internet, and we have the freedom of speech, right? And we have the freedom of thought, and we actually have the ability um, through capitalism to create all sorts of different nodes that just pop up all over the place, right? You can have collective communities pop up over the place that um, their main focus, their main mission is um, intelligence gathering, right? right? Intelligence gathering, not for national interests, right? Not for national interests, um, because that's something completely separate, mm-hmm. but it would be intelligence gathering and intelligence or information dissemination mm-hmm. and, um, cooperation for personal liberty, right? That's it. Personal liberty. Personal and, liberty. Yeah. We need to, we need to sort of kind of level up and, um, knock this out because, uh, I might just, yeah, I'm going out with a fight. That's all I'm saying. I'm I'm going out with a fight because I want my alcohol. <laughs> That's my focus. Because not in my house. Yeah, not in my house. Yeah, not in my house because I want to be able to be who I am right now. Right? Yeah. And I want the futures of people who are like me to have the same freedom, the we same move ability. We forward progressively. We don't want to move back into a dark age. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, thanks to... Um, social justice warriors right now. Well, they're also. Yeah. We'll take it. We'll, they're on the list too. Uh, yeah. Well, the <laughs> they're social. They're part of the problem too. Yeah, social justice warriors and political correctness. These are two factors, two variables that we need to correct quick. Right. We need to correct quick. Which and... is funny because we want to fight for their liberties too. They just. They don't get it. We want to fight for everybody's liberty to do what they do, to have the voice they have, yeah, be able to say what they want to say. Oh man, I think the I think the NSA is coming down <laughs> on us. They're coming down on us because we're talking about <laughs> we're talking about fighting and you know Islamism and and, and, and social justice warriors and not in my house. These are all um, oh, shit. We're trigger warnings. Now. Yeah. Crap. Yeah, trigger warnings for people. But we really yeah. just want everyone to be able to live a life of freedom. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> well yeah, I guess um, on that note, uh, I'm going to close this session out because uh, um, <laughs> this was the start of, uh, hmm, I don't know, it could be fun. Right now we're, just, we're calling this a uh, um, uh, project. <laughs> this this has a code name, Jason Bourne. <laughs> right? And it's time to be completely transparent. But yeah, yeah you're going to be open, completely transparent, and um, it is going to be a focus with becoming a better person who wants to fight for personal liberty. Yeah. Right? And you're going to fight for this personal liberty through information gathering. In dissemination of information 
um, because we need to know who this enemy is that um, wants to take your dress away from you. <laughs> it's a call to arms. It's yeah. a call to arms, and it's an exciting time because we're trying to develop um, ideas. We're trying to develop a curriculum. We're trying to develop a action plan because it's all good to sit and talk, but uh, it's time for action, which yeah. is the next step, and it's always, I think, the hardest step. But mm -hmm. um, ideas and information and, and discussion are vital. So. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So I guess on a, maybe the next time we, we hook up mm -hmm. or we talk, we might uh, just uh, deconstruct Western Western uh, civilization or Western culture or the ideals, even though we've already discussed it. Yeah. Because it is, you know, the basic fundamentals it's of Western. It's less than the first. Yeah, it's less than what? The first. Oh, yeah, yeah. the first. The origin. Um, yeah, you know, because you need to know what your roots are. Yeah. Right? And people can hem and ha and talk about, uh, what? Uh, those aren't my roots. I'm not, no. The West is an idea, right? The West is an idea that is wrapped in freedom of speech, right? Freedom of speech, freedom of thought, and rule by law, right? That is what the West is wrapped in. Fuck it. We just deconstructed it right now, right? So that that is fundamentally what the West is. Might repeat this later, but um, maybe on the next go-round, then we'll deconstruct uh, Islamism, Right. Not Islam, no. but Islamism. Yes. Right. Because Islamism is the the Nazis of our generation. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. These are the people that want, want to, take to take away our, our life. Yeah. 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 But they want to take our, our life. But we have an option. Convert or die. Right. Convert or die. <laughs> and um, fuck you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you, you can take me out. <laughs> Not without a fight. Yeah, and not my I, house. I go back to the Revolutionary War. I go back to, you know, standing my ground on my house. Yeah. You have to pry it out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> not my cold, dead hands. <laughs> oh, well. Well, this was fun. Yeah. I can keep going on, but... It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's exciting, but scary. Uh, but, um, yeah, I guess it's time to go do some uh, some uh, planning. Yeah. You know, we got to go to the war room. Right, we have to go to the war room and set up uh, um, uh, strategic plans. Yeah. Man, yeah. All right. All right. Man time. up. <laughs> and remember, not, not in my, my house. house. <laughs>